defend her Olympic title, but a few athletes have already booked their seats on the plane. We recently featured long-distance runner Alison Dixon from Sunderland, first British woman home in the London Marathon. Well, I'm delighted to say that the second Brit over the line last month is also Brazil-bound, and Sonia Samuels from Wallsend in North Tyneside is right here now. Sonia, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Big questions. Has it sunk in yet? It's, it's about sinking in. It, and now that I'm starting to make plans uh, towards Rio, booking flights, deciding where I'm going to train, it's actually starting to sink in. But yeah, I'm just uh, living in the moment and uh, enjoying it. Now, you just missed out on selection to London 2012. You had a big decision to make. Would you go on for another four years? I suppose you must feel the decision was, was vindicated, really. Yeah, I think, I think you have to give yourself a chance. And I didn't want to walk away thinking I hadn't ticked all the boxes and given myself... Um, all the chances that I could possibly could. Um, so it was definitely uh, a decision that I was going to carry on and try and make it to, uh, to Rio. The other massive decision you made was back in 2011 when you decided to give up uh, uh, teaching languages for, for a career, for temporarily yeah. at least, and to concentrate on your athletics. Is the teaching something you might go back? Um, at the moment, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm passionate about my sport. I'm motivated to, to run as fast as I can. Um, so I've, I've no, I've no um, desire to, to give that up just yet, um, but maybe it's something that I would go back to. Now, your husband Nick's pretty useful, isn't he? Admittedly a 1,500 metres runner, but he, he does act as uh, something of a pacemaker when you're doing these long distances, doesn't he? Yeah, he's more of my training partner, actually. I think we, we've definitely had this journey together. Um, he's there every day. He helps me with my training. He's there supporting me all the way. So it's, it's really nice to, to share that with him. And, of course, uh, I dare say you'll be going to... Um, uh, to, he'll be coming to Rio with you, but what yeah. about uh, other members of the family? Well, it would be great to have everyone there, but I think hopefully my mum's going to be there. Um, but it would be nice to have the rest of my family, my sisters, but yeah, it would probably just be my mum. And, and you and Alison Dixon, are firm friends or old rivals? <laughs> well, we actually, we actually do a lot of training camps together, so yeah, we're, we're friends, but when we're on the line together, yeah, we're rivals. A final question, conditions in Rio, what are they going to be like? A bit, uh, a bit hot and humid, I should imagine. It'll be hot and humid, but I like it when it's warm. Uh, London was a bit too cold for me, so uh, I'm looking forward to it, to it being a bit warmer. And you don't have to wait until June or July for, for, to find out whether you've been selected. That must be such a relief. It is a relief, and it's really nice because I feel like I have more time to enjoy actually being selected and looking forward to it. Sonia, we wish you all the best. We'll be keeping our fingers crossed for you in Rio. Thank you. And finally from me.